Hello, beautiful soul family. Welcome to my home. I'm feeling especially blessed today. It has been one hell of a ride, let me tell you. But today was a win, and I feel like when you have a win day, those are the days that you really want to like put the goodness out into the world. And today was a win day. All the way around, it was a win day. And um, funnily enough, it is... Uh, March 17th, 2023, St. Patrick's Day. And it was such an interesting day from beginning to end, but interesting that towards the end of the day, I had an encounter with a very powerful uh, pagan witch. They claim themselves as this, so I am respecting their what they claim for themselves. And Long story short, we were I was standing in line at the grocery store and all these people were talking about St. Patrick's Day and whatever and um and they very boldly and very beautifully said, Well, it's actually not my favorite holiday, you know, because of what it stands for. And I was like, What do you mean? And um and he goes, and he knows me, like he knows of me and my channel and stuff, and um or they. I don't know what I'm not sure what they go by. So I should say they. Um but they like schooled my ass and they were like they were like you of all people should know and I was like I don't know what you're saying and he's like you know they talk about St. Patrick who you know drove the snakes out of Ireland and he's like the snakes were us you know he said the pagans you know like the witches the healers the deep down believers he's like because they were like you know um, like the Puritans or whatever. I forget what they called it back then. Um, and I was like, oh my gosh. And I'm like, I don't know if you've been watching my other channel, but we've been talking with spirit about this interesting like thing happening in front of us right now between the Puritans and the witches and like through famous people. It's so fucking interesting. So when they said that, and he's the way he said it to me too, he was just like, like, I expected more from you, Lula. It was so, and I go, I go, and it's almost like, I'm like, did I just choose to block that out? Like, not to throw flowers at myself, but like, I, when I am interested in something, I'm really interested in it. And I research the fuck out of it because I have always, you know, um, over the years, it's been really like, like pushed into me how important it is, you know, knowledge, like knowledge is power. And so, um, it was just kind of interesting because I was like, oh my God, I'm like, how do I seriously, I'm like, did I like learn that? And like, how do I know? I feel like I knew that, but like, maybe I just forgot about it or something. It just seems kind of like an odd thing I wouldn't know. And I'm not saying that with ego. It's just, you know, so anyway, it made me realize, well, I need to like really sharpen my, <laughs> my skills on, uh, my knowledge skills on things. So that was very interesting, but the day started with magic because, um, so many things. I don't even know if I want to tell you everything or if I would like, I don't even know. I wouldn't even like know where to start because it's been like one magical thing after another. It's been like really, really cool. But I will say that I kind of have been saying for a while, I've been on the lookout for a couch, a good couch, because we have this really cute couch. We call our cuddle couch and it's so cute and you'll see it eventually. Um, but I sat in it recently with one of my soul sisters and like, I, I enjoyed sitting it in it with them and like enjoying like that experience, um, of how cute it is to like sit in the cuddle couch with someone. And like, we were like, you know, I was on weed, she was on shrooms and we were just like laughing and being, I mean, it was awesome. Um, I miss her, but, but also, um, I thought, yeah, it's cute, but like, you know, there are times where he and I might want to watch something together. And most of the time we're kind of all over each other, but sometimes like, you know, you just want to sit by yourself for a little while or something. And I thought that's going to be annoying. We, we need to have something like more than that. And then I've, I've been looking at chairs and we have, um, we have a few different things. We have like a settee, a fainting couch. We have a chaise, like we've got all these really cool pieces of furniture, but you know, he's six two and I thought he really needs somewhere he can like lay down and, and, you know, and just relax and, um, and take a nap. And so, um, I said, spirit, if we're meant to have a couch, bring me a magical couch. Now, listen, I have had some really good couches in my time. Sorry. I had my hair in braids earlier. So it's, I just, you know, sometimes you got to take your hair out anyway. 
I digress. Um, it's very late and it's been an amazing day, but I'm really drained. I knew it was going to be an amazing day when I was leaving and spirit told me to wear my medicine bag. So I knew it was going to be a really powerful day. Um, and a lot of times when we go into, um, the Silverdale area where we shop, it's like, all these stores that we go to, they kind of know me by now. And we just, it's just, we have these really cool experiences, but, um, but I met a lot of new people today too. It was really, really, really neat. So I've been looking for a couch, looking for a couch. And I told spirit, I was like, if we're going to have a couch, it's got to be natural fibers. It's got to have, you know, um, not that I want to hurt birds. Um, but I, I wouldn't want to like have one made right now unless I knew like, I feel like if the birds die, you know what I mean? And they want to give their feathers. It's one thing, but I think raising birds to use their feathers for down is really cruel because of the way they do it is really fucked up. Um, so I told spirit, I'm like, only bring something into my orbit if it's, you know, in the greatest and highest good of all. And then I like prayed, you know, for the birds and, you know, kind of spoke to them and was like, you know, bring it to me because I've been really blessed to, um, you know, not have my own, but like sit on furniture that's goose down. And it's just a completely different experience. And I feel like when people come to my house, I want them to feel comfortable and I want them to, you know, also like if someone wants to sleep over, like they can sleep there, you know, so it'd be like a bed. So... I put it out into the universe, like basically what I wanted, what I needed, what I thought would be, you know, good for our family or whatever. And, um, and I also said to spirit when it was time, I felt like the last piece we were going to get for the house was going to be a couch. So the other day Alder came in and he said, you know, Hey, uh, he's getting really close to finishing the bathroom. And I was like, Oh my gosh, I'm like, that's so exciting. We still have a lot of things to do before we move in there. Um, but it was just, you know, we can't do anything until he finishes that. Like literally we can't do anything because it's everywhere. He has everything strewn out everywhere. I took video of it today just cause I'll post it eventually, but I just don't understand. I just don't understand. I don't know how somebody can just like leave shit everywhere and just like have no regard for anyone. He did it last time. He left it that way before. And then when we were going to have guests and we wanted to show him the cabin, I asked Alder if he would just at least make a path, you know, straightened up a little bit so nobody gets hurt, you know, cause there was fucking shit everywhere. Like from, you know, just the tools and equipment to nails and just on the floor, just really dangerous. And so when we, when I went up there, I was like, oh my gosh, like Alder did an amazing job. It was beautiful. I was like, oh, thanks honey. And he like swept it up. It was just really, really nice. I went in there today and I was just like, oh my God, he's been back working on it for like three weeks and it's even worse than it was before. And I just thought, I don't like, you know, like Alder even said, he goes, I mean, when I work on cars, he's like, I don't just leave shit around. Even if I'm working on it for a little while, he's like, I pack up my tools. I pack up my stuff. He's like, he just doesn't care. It's like, it's like he opens something to use it and he just leaves the packaging. He just leaves it on the floor. And he's like using tiles or whatever. Then he just leaves the scraps there. And there's just like piles and like mounds of um, dust, you know, from stuff and We'll get to that. That's why this is going to be titled gratitude and irritation, because in some ways I'm so grateful because today was like this magical day. But in other ways, I'm like, it's okay for us to get irritated with somebody, you know, like, you know, we're not meant to just be like, oh, okay, Every, like everything's okay. You know, I mean, we have feelings, we have emotions, you know, we feel a certain way. So I think it was like a week ago, getting back to the couch I just felt this vibe. I was like, I feel like our couch is like coming. I just feel it. I'm like, hmm. So I've been on the lookout. I've been on the lookout, on the lookout, on the lookout. And I found this one that every time I looked at it, I was like, I feel like that's our couch. I feel like that's our couch. But when I would ask spirit, they would say no. Come to find out that it was, it was just timing. It was all about timing. And then when we talked to the people who we got the couch from, like they were telling us how like, yeah, people inquired, but like nobody ever showed up or things like never, whatever. She's like, it was like, I thought it was meant to be ours, you know? 
So we went there today. We went on an adventure. It was so fun. They lived in Hansville. I believe it's Hansville because it's H-A-N-S-ville. And that whole area is very Norwegian. So I would imagine it's Hansville, but it could be Hansville. I don't know. And um, cute house, nice property. Like right when we were like, I was like, oh yeah. Like I knew, I just had a really good feeling about it. I mean, I already knew what it was and I saw the picture, but it's, it's like cream but like almost white, like almost like a bone, you know, color, I guess, or I don't know what you call it, but, and it's cotton and it's down filled and it was free. And this is like not a cheap couch. You know what I mean? Like you can tell, like it's not a cheap couch. Anytime you have goose down, that's not cheap. Um, she said that they bought it from JC Penny years ago. The best part about it was we had no idea about this feature until we got there and she showed it to us and, um, and she's like, Oh yeah, you can pull the whole thing off. I'm like, what? I thought, cause she was like, you know, and I could tell just how clean, like, I was like, Oh my gosh, she's like me. She's super clean. Really. You know, um, just, it was in really good shape. I mean, considering like, you know, the age and, um, the color and everything, it was in really, of course it had marks and like some stains and stuff, but like nothing major, nothing that couldn't be, you know, she's like, I used OxyClean. And so I'll probably use like my essential oils and certain things to help. Like you can actually lemon juice bleaches really well. And it also kills like bacteria and stuff. So I'm going to look for a little remedy and work with spirit, um, to wash it. But she's like, you know, wash it in, in cold. She's like, we had it for years. Like she's like, listen to my instructions. And I'm like, okay, so we did. And, and then I thought she just meant like the covers for like the, you know, cushions and the, and the, back pillows and the throw pillows and she's like oh no 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 she's like the whole cover comes off I'm like and it's got springs like it's really really nice and I was like I'm going to cry I'm like I'm going to cry and it velcro like it's 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 a beautiful beautiful very comfortable we didn't even sit in it I don't know why I didn't feel like I wanted to sit in it I can't explain it I feel like I'd want to wait till it's washed you could tell by looking at it how comfortable it was so anyway, so that happened. And the best part was, is when we were getting ready to leave, you know, we had it all in the van and tied down and stuff. And, um, when we were getting ready to leave, she's like, I just had to ask you, she's like, my husband recognized your email. You know, I go, am I a medium? And she's like, yeah. And I said, yeah. And so we started talking and she's like, I think I have some gifts. And on the way there, I said to Alder, like out of nowhere, I go, I have this really weird feeling we're going to know them or like we're going to have like some type of interaction with them. I don't know if they're going to need a mobile mechanic or, you know, plant medicine. I'm like, I don't know. I said, I, I, I honestly didn't even think about me, which is kind of funny. I was thinking more of lines of him because we get that all the time where people will be like, you know, I'll be like, oh, he's a mobile mechanic. Um... But yeah, it was just a really cool, really cool, really cool experience. And um, I just had a great talk with them. I didn't mean to talk their ear off, but um, I just couldn't help it because I can tell like, you know, she was really special. And I said, hey, you know, um, I believe in exchange of energy and it would really be my honor to read for you if you would like me to in exchange for this couch, you know, and she's like, really? And I'm like, yeah. And so I gave her, I said, well, check out my YouTube channel and see, you know, how you feel and um, the magical medium. And, um, yeah, so it was just really cool. It was just a great experience. And then after that we went shopping and then I had the experience with my, you know, pagan family <laughs> and, um, which I really do. I did realize like I kind of did need to be a little schooled there because I didn't really, I don't think I, re I just don't remember that. I just don't remember that driving the snakes out of Ireland. Like that's like, it's almost, like makes me sad, you know, cause for all these years I've been celebrating St. Patrick's day and I'm really just celebrating like the death of, or like the excursion of my people or expulsion of my people. I mean, um, so that was really interesting. Lots of like, I swear to God, it's like, I feel like I like blocked it out or something. It just seems like such an obvious thing that I would know. Um, but also today is the seventh anniversary of one of my witchy sisters, Tina Shepard, who passed over. Um, when she died, it was just like such a horrific experience for me. Um, I just, 
I don't know how to explain it. Like I knew she was older than me and stuff, you know, but she wasn't that much older than me. She was only like 10 or 12 years older than me and she was in her fifties and I was in my forties and her death just was so shocking. I'm like, I don't know how to like, I don't want to start crying, but well, when I looked up, I saw this thing that says 130 calories, but if you take off the zero to 13, which is the number of the witch, which by the way, I'm, sh I'm not like, you know, I love her. I just have to move on. Um, cause that was really hard. I was, she was a very good friend of mine. Uh, Monday when I did a lot of spirit work was uh, the 13th. It was the number of the witch. And I had so much power and I felt, you know, moon days are always my day anyway, because I was born on a Monday on a moon day. 1549 is our angel number. And then I saw 50 and 51. So whatever that means for anybody. It could be any numbers, numerology. But interesting how things are going in sevens. And even with, with T, as I called her, Tina, like, you know, she died seven years ago. And um, I just feel like I've been going through so much over the last few weeks. And I know that I've been kind of keeping my distance from a lot of you guys. It's not personal. I just really needed to work through a lot of my own shit. And today it was really profound. I feel like in every experience I had today was more profound than the other. One of the experiences I had was I met this beautiful angel named Tracy who had such a amazing story and just really moved me and in, in such a beautiful way. And interesting that I had, um, on my birthday last year, I got two new rings at this local thrift store, real rings, turquoise rings. And I got them both for, with tax and everything, it was like $13. It was so crazy, you know, because my birthday is on the 13th. And anyway, the one ring, it's like, it just, every time I try to wear it, it's like, or I lose it, or I think I lose it, and then I'll find it again, or it'll be in a pocket or in my purse. And even, um... Some time ago, I was wearing it in the car and I had just put some water on my hands and I accidentally electrocuted myself. <laughs> I was trying to put my phone in the charger on our uh, cigarette lighter in our car and it had like this weird short in it. And I, it, I, anyway, but I was wearing that ring and it like zapped me and it was just like so weird. And I was just like, I feel like I'm not supposed to have this ring. So today I was talking to Tracy and we were having this great moment and she worked also at the same place that... Um, uh, our beautiful angel family, uh, our pagan sibling, uh, was working and boy, I'm being really careful cause I don't want to tell other people's things, you know, without their permission, but I just had this really great moment and she mentioned something about my rings and I learned a long time ago and a lot of traditions, if somebody comments on something, you're supposed to give it to them. So I said, well, and I was oddly wore like all of my rings and that one I put on my finger cause I found it in my jacket and pocket and I was just like, I don't want to lose it. So I put it on my finger and I said, and I put my hands down and I was just like, you know, which one are you drawn to? And, uh, she's like this one. And I was like, I pulled it off my finger and I like blessed it and, and gave her a little prayer and we were like praying right there in the grocery store. It was amazing. It was a really great moment. And, uh, and I just, I loved her so much because she had so much strength and courage and tenacity and starting over and just, it's, it was just really a moving. I just, I just feel really blessed to do what I do. So thank you so much, you guys, for being a part of my life and my journey and supporting me in all different ways. You guys support me in all different ways. So thank you so much. I really am in gratitude. Um, yeah, it was just really great. And then I left there and went and got some candles and got some food for Bubba and then had another cool conversation with another uh, powerful light worker in there and educated myself on how much it's going to cost to have a dog because I really, I just feel, I know that I know the dog will come when it's time, you know, but it's just where we live and how we live and stuff. I just feel like I'll feel better um, having a dog. The only thing I'm a little concerned about is we do have a bear family that lives up here. So it's like, I wouldn't want anything like that. It's more like, you know, dogs and, and cats can hear things so much further away. And, um, 
Bubba, you know, like cats, like they can hear 200 times more than we can. So like, I feel like if there was something like I'd see her, like she would hear something, but I feel like with a dog, I, cause I've had dogs before dogs are like good for like the, you know, sometimes they're like, what's that? And then if you hear the, like if they're growling, it's like, that means intruder or like somebody who's not supposed to be here. And I feel like spirit will bring us the right dog that will understand that that's a bear and like, don't growl at the bear. Don't, don't be mean to the deer. Don't run. You know what I mean? Don't chase. Like I know spirit will bring me a wise, you know, beautiful guard, uh, guardian when it's time. But I just feel like I would feel better because also I feel like Alder and I have been talking about how we both want to travel again on our own. We love each other, but we love, love, love our alone time too. And we like to travel, both of us, on our own for long periods of time, like a few weeks at a time. Sometimes I've, I've gone away for, m one time I went away for 30 days, another time 33 days. He went away for six weeks once. We needed a really big break back then. We were kind of on a, we were on a break, <laughs> Ross and Rachel would say. Um, but it's, it's just nice. I just think I would feel better, you know, because I don't believe in guns. And I know Spirit has my back and all that stuff, but... I just feel like I would feel better to have one. And I just love dogs. They're just really awesome. And, um, yeah, it's actually interesting too. Cause like Bubba and, and Alder have been getting really close and, and then I'll be like, is that because I keep asking you for a dog? Cause I keep asking for, for a dog. But the one day she's like, I am your guard dog. You know, I did a shorts about it. I have to find that and post it. It's really funny. Cause she's like, I am the guard dog. And I'm like, okay. I'm like, she, I've had things happen. I had two things happen where I was not very wise and made really bad choices of bringing gentlemen callers home after the bar when I would get drunk years ago. And I had a kind of an almost kind of scary situation. And I guess I always thought that she'd be, that she would be there for me. But when it got a little heated, she went and hid. <laughs> And I was like, girl, you gotta have my back. You know, I feel like if I was screaming and was like, Baba, help me. Like she probably would. I don't know. But like dogs don't even think about it. You know what I mean? I want that kind of like thing where if that ever happened or also because I want to start having spiritual like things on our property. But at the same time, I'm not, you know, I absolutely know that Alder is, you know, he works with, you know, the dark spirits and the shadow and things like that. And we've had things that have lingered and we have to kind of chase them away. So that kind of energy, it's like, you can have somebody, you know, fucking hitchhiking or something. Like I have had weird visions about it. That's why I'm like, I'm not bringing it to me. It's more like we've had people come up our road already. Like we've, we've finally fixed the gate better. So now they can't really get up here, but we were having all these looky loose because it was an old logging road for a long time. Um, and, uh, it's been, you know, since logged, you know, it's been, so now it was, it's been like ghost land. And I think people used to come up here and fuck around and party and stuff. I think, you know, it was kind of known for that. And then there was a short time where it was rented and these, there were p three people that rented it. And I guess they had like a really bad, uh, drug problem, but they didn't know that when they rented it out. Uh, the guy who rented it out had more faith in the person, the, the first person. And then the first person brought other people in a couple and I don't know if they're into math or something, but that's why I know there's a lot of dark energy still like around here that I'm working with. And I don't know, I know spirit will bring it to me, us when it's time, but I miss it as much as I love Bubba and she knows she's my life. She's my best friend. She is my familiar. I also, there's just a different energy with dogs and I miss that. And I love to walk and I think it'd be awesome to like have a dog to like walk with and stuff like that. Cause Bubba doesn't really like to do that. So anyway, so yeah, it was just a really fun time. And then we came home and, you know, cause it's still light out and I hadn't seen the house. I haven't been up there since that time I was up there with, um, Zoe and George and Alder. And I saw the bathroom and here comes the not so good part, 2414. And I'm trying so hard not to put a negative spin on this, but I, I am not happy. And the thing that frustrates me the most about this entire experience is from the beginning, he kept asking me what I wanted. What do you want? What do you want? What do you want? What do you want? And I told him what I wanted. And then he would tell me what he wanted to do. And that he had this vision and he's like, you know, I'm an artist too. You know, I've designed homes and I've, and, um, 
you know, when he's 80 and I feel like he's like trying to prove something to himself, but it's like coming out through our bathroom. You know what I mean? Cause I'm like, if we're doing a rent to buy, that's why it's been really hard because when he said, he's like, well, you're going to own it. You know, he's like, you just tell me I have tons of supplies. He's like, I'll just bring stuff out and you tell me what you want to use. And I'm like, okay, not only did he use tiles that I didn't want specifically didn't want like I just they look cheap and shitty and I was just like no like it's not us like it's not I just I'm not digging the vibe but I told him that I wanted light colors I told him I wanted no black in there he bought a black shower rod I mean just like he's like wait till you see the floor actually the floor is the coolest part of the bathroom but it's so dark I mean it was like you know, dark things make rooms look smaller. And, you know, I was trying to make it look bigger. It's a really small bathroom. So I was just like really frustrated with that. Then he's, he asked me, he's like, I have these really cool vintage tiles that I think would be cool in there. And I said, okay, what do you mean? Like what kind of vintage? Cause the other tiles they're from, it's, it's almost like, sorry, I have to fix it. Drive me crazy. <laughs> it's almost like, it's like, it's like you have all these, I'm about to color my hair. Oh, and feel free to guess what color I'm, you can put in the comments, but I'm coloring my hair, a new one. I just don't know. Um, I just don't know exactly what shade. I know what color. I just don't know what shade I'm going to do yet. That's the only bit I'll tell you. I needed to kind of scratch out my head. So he explained the tiles and I literally said to him, no, thank you. I'm like, they sound cute. I'm like, but that's not really the vibe we're going for. I'm like, I'm, I'm doing a mermaid bathroom. Uh, you know, I wanted to do a mermaid bathroom, you know, my whole life and, um, not my whole life, but like I've wanted to do a mermaid bathroom for a really long time. And so I was, you know, the way he described it, I was, I was just like, it doesn't sound like it's going to fit into, you know, everything. And he's like, okay, I literally showed him. I bought all of these things or found really cool things in free piles and all these cool things, mermaid stuff. We even got like a hook thing for our towels. That's a mermaid. And I told him, I showed him in the house. Like when, when we got them, I was like, oh, look at the cute stuff for the bathroom. He's like, oh, that's really nice. So when we squared things away and we decided to move forward with moving in, he brought the tiles up again. And I said, no, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't want those tiles. Like, I told him I didn't want them. And he said, they're really cute. He's like, just trust me, just trust me, just trust me. And I was like, okay. And when I saw them today, what frustrates me the most is, I feel like he got them and wanted to do something with them. Like he didn't want them to go to waste kind of thing. You know what I mean? Where I, I mean, I was like, he could have donated them to our like local charity place or like we have a Habitat for Humanity here. You know what I mean? Like one of the builder things. It's like he could have donated it. They would have, somebody would have really loved them. Number one, they don't go together. They're not even, it's like, it's like one tile looks like you're in a kid's bedroom. It's two little mice on a sailboat. Is it cute? Yes. But it's not like one tile. It's like four little tiles, like a puzzle. And I don't know what color grouty is going to be do, but like, I mean, nothing, I'm not, I'm not exaggerating when I tell you that there's got to be seven or eight different tiles in there on the walls, in the shower, on the floor, like different styles, different colors, like and it does not go together. It's like a hodgepodge. The only thing I can think of is that spirit is like having him do that because it's going to be easier for me to paint them because I'm going to paint the tile. There's no fucking way I'm leaving. I was like, so I was really, I, I figured like spirits got to know what they're doing because I'm like, it's just frustrating. And so now I have to sit with the guilt of that these beautiful vintage tiles are going to get painted over because I'm not going to leave them in my bathroom. They look ridiculous. Not only that, but he did four and he did three inside, inside the bathtub or inside the bath, you know, area and one outside. I'm going to have a shower curtain up. Like I have a few ideas of like shower curtains that I want to get, you know, mermaids. I've looked at a few different things, moons, you know, depending on what this turns out to be like, um, we'll see. But 
I just know that I'm going to have a shower curtain up. So if I'm going to have a shower curtain up, it, you're not even going to see the other tiles. So to have just one tile randomly with a picture on it, and we're going to get to the other tiles. But the one tile that's outside of the tub shower area is of a kitten looking at wildflowers with butterflies over its head. Cute. Really fucking cute. If I was in a country kitchen in the 1970s. But it lit. It's like. It's like, remember that game where they'd be like, what's the one thing that doesn't belong? You know what I mean? And I'm like, that, that, right there, that tile. It makes no fucking sense. And it's so cute. Like, I don't want to really paint over it. You know, it's so cute. So I think what I'm probably going to end up doing is like maybe leaving the butterflies and the kitten and the flowers, but like maybe making something of it. I don't know. It's so, like, I feel like spirit must know. <laughs> there must be, I mean, someday we might look back on this and I'll be like, remember when I bitched out? Look how cute it is now. I hope so, because I'm hoping that it'll just bring out my inner artist. But, so, the mice on the sailboat are cute. I mean, it's cute. It's just, like, fucking whatever. And then, like, there's this other one of a seagull. And the scene is kind of cool, because it kind of looks like the bay that we're in. But it doesn't go with the mice, and so when I'm taking a bath, because it's on the side that's underneath like the shower head and like the spigot. So when I'm like laying back in my bathtub, that's going to be what I'm going to look at. <laughs> I mean, maybe it's for people who are tripping out, who are staying in my house or shrooming. I don't know. Like I seriously, like, I'm just like, what the fucking fuck? Like what the fucking fuck? Like I, I don't, and I don't want to seem like a dickwad and like be ungrateful because he's putting in so much work and I'm so I'm in such gratitude. But it's also where you're like, what the fuck? Now I will say, there is one tile in there that is cool as fucking shit, and that's the one that's on the back, where I won't be looking at it because my back will be to it. If I was going to do anything, I would have put that one in my visual and when I'm taking a bath because it's a fucking sea dragon and it's cool as shit, except for <laughs> it's like going around this lighthouse. So it kind of makes it look kitschy. <laughs> you know what I mean? So <laughs> thank you, water energy. It's Piscean. It's the end of Pisces season. It's the end of the astrological year. Like, I'm just like, whatever, dude, man, just fucking finish it and I will figure it out. Like, you know, there are so many things where I'm just like, get out. I just, I just want to be like, I love you, but can you please just fucking get out of the house and let us like live here and let us do it. Like, there's just all these like little teeny tiny things where just how gross it is, how long it's going to take us to clean it, just to clean it. It's going to take us days just to clean up after him when he gets out of there. And the tiles have like grout all over. I mean, it's so unprofessional. Our cousin George came over and he was just like, what the fuck? Like, he's just like, it's so unprofessional. It's so awful. I'm like, I know, dude. I'm like, I know. So you just gotta, what do you do, you know? But he, he thinks he's like this genius and he thinks he's this artist. And I don't want to take that away from him that he believes that. And maybe this is in his mind, his last masterpiece and it's taken him all this time. So you know what? God love him. Let him work through it. But man, I was just like, this is not the bathroom I wanted. Not to mention that like the tiles go up to a certain point and then it's wood. It's like all raw wood. So that has to be cleaned and treated. There's just like, there's just all these things where I know it's going to take us a while to get in there, but he just raised our rent and we haven't even moved in there yet. And I was, and he's like, and you know, I need to offset the taxes went up and I don't know, man, I'll tell you what, either he really thinks that that bathroom looks that good or that was like some type of passive aggressive fucking shit <laughs> I just don't know I mean he told us like he's angry he's been angry since his wife died you know and it's just been a this whole thing's just been so fucking interesting but on the bright side of it we stood in the house today and I was like dude we finally got our couch and when he gets out of here and we finally like bring this place together 
it's going to be magic and I'm really excited and I'm excited to share the journey with you. I've been documenting this, so you will definitely see it. I think I'll make a playlist out of it and put it on here and, um, cause I think it's fun. I like watching makeovers. So I think it'll be kind of fun to see how it progresses, um, over time. There's a lot that needs to happen. I have this, I keep seeing the number three. So it means we're either going to live here for three years or we're, it's going to take us three years to get it together. Um, I don't know. I mean, we may even like turn it into some masterpiece and then like sell it after we buy it. You know, like maybe we'll, I don't feel like it's our forever home, but who knows? I don't know. We'll see. I don't know if there is such a thing really. <laughs> But um, I did want to let you guys know that tomorrow in real time on March 18th on Saturday, I'm doing the last reading, the very last reading of this astrological year and the last reading of this moon cycle. We are going to be doing the waning crescent reading and we're going to be, um, it's going to be a reading for the tribe and we're going to be uh, sitting with the witch's wisdom oracle deck. So I'm super excited to see what they have to say about that. And then next week, um, this weekend, just take it easy if you can. And then next week we've got, you know, Ostara, you know, spring is here and, um, or fall for our Southern Hemisphere family. And, um, we also have airy season coming in. I mean, there's so much, we have a new moon on the 21st. So it's just the, this, basically this week, this transition is just going to be really powerful. There's a lot of really cool things happening astrologically as well. Um, tomorrow is the Sabbath. So it makes sense that I will be doing our last reading on that day. So stay tuned for that. And if you haven't subscribed to the Magical Medium, there's a link to my other channel where I give free readings. I am a psychic medium. If you're new here, welcome and welcome back to all of you who keep coming back. And yeah, so you are watching the channel is progressing and turning into my own little fun little world, Lula's life. And the magical medium is really like hopping up with the, the readings are starting to get really cool. Also, if you haven't checked out the third quarter slash last quarter, pick a reading. I highly recommend you check it out. It was awesome. There were five questions to choose from. You can watch one or watch all. Um, but it was about transition and forgiveness and manifestation. And it was really powerful. So I highly recommend it. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. And um, if you do, make sure to like, subscribe, and comment. And welcome to my world. And welcome to this tribe. We love you. You are obviously a witch, a healer, and a deep down believer in magic. Or else you wouldn't be here. Because I'm telling you, my day was just filled with magic. Also, one last note, I come from the Kelly clan and Alder comes from the Fitzgerald clan. So it was kind of cool, though, that it's still an Irish, you know, it may not be that kind of holiday, but I still felt like our ancestors were kind of like lifting us up today and saying like, you know what, you deserve it. I heard a Christmas song uh, this morning when we, I'm like, oh, it's going to be good. I told my go, dude, I'm like, this couch is going to be killer. I go, I just have a feeling. I go, I heard a Christmas song this morning. Actually, all the songs I heard, I was like, hmm, I knew it was going to be a cool, magical day. And then when Spirit said, wear your medicine bag, I was like, yep. And every store I went into, it was like magic, 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 because that's our job, right? Especially myself. I'm a prophet. I'm a muse. I'm a magician. I'm here to wake you up to who you are. That's all I'm here to do is just to lay out the breadcrumbs to help you find your way because I can't heal you. Only you can heal you. Until next time, take good care of yourselves and each other. I love you so much. Bless it be.